What's going on everybody, it's your boy TPNL. Welcome back, welcome back to TPNL Auto. Today we have a sponsored video by Last Fit. The great people over at Last Fit sent me an awesome package. After it's all said and done today, if you would like to jump on this awesome opportunity, link in the description, make sure you click my affiliate link that's in the description below. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Shout out to everybody who's been digging the POV videos. I appreciate all the love and support in the comment section from that. It doesn't go unnoticed. Before we open the last fit floor mats, I wanna let y'all know that I, I not only got the front and back mats, but I also have the mat for the trunk, for the rear trunk as well. But I wanna show y'all the mats that I originally bought with the car and how terrible they look already after eight months. I have not even taken my vehicle off-roading or anything crazy. So let's hop in the Bronco, get a close-up of the old mats. They're gonna be old mats and just see how they already look tore down and wore down. So as you can see, check, take a look at the mats. Um, they don't look as bad as I just said, but in person, <gasps> it's not as good as it should be. When I first got the mats, they were a lot darker, but now they're kind of like a little faded from washing them and hosing them down. And I haven't even really done anything that serious. So we're gonna take these mats out, unbox the last fit mats, sit them next to each other, and then put them in the car and compare and contrast them. I'm already excited about it. I've seen other Broncos with these last fit mats, so I am hyped to finally get my hands on them. Let's roll. I got the mats out of the car. This is the uh, the trunk mat, and uh, this is the back seat mat. Already right here, the, the problem I had with these mats, especially when you had the doors off in the Bronco, there's no snap. Like in the front seat, it's two snaps, it's one snap here. There's no snap and it's not all one piece. So it's two pieces. So when you're on the highway with no doors on, even if you have two doors, this whole thing is lifting up in the air a foot, two feet, three feet sometimes off of the ground. I just flapping behind you while you're driving. Um, I'm hoping to not have the problem with that with last fit because their back piece is all one piece. So we'll see how that goes. You can see the mats here. You can just see the coloring in them. And check out, look, boom, trunk one. Check out the, check out the last fit mat already. Looking good, looking good. Look at the back, look at the back, the back seat mats. Look at the texture. Let's get in tight, look at that. It's gonna look, I'm, I'm gonna get another close up when I actually put them in the vehicle. Boom, it looks great. And it's covering way more ground than the original Bronco mats, side by side. Look at that. Look at that side by side right there. Covering way more ground, the whole footrest. Up underneath the foot pedals is gonna be covered up. All right, we're gonna get started with the front seat mat. This will be the driver's side. We're coming on in. Already, my favorite part is how this footrest area is completely covered. With the regular mats, it was not completely covered. Pop that down, pop the other one down, put it under this pedal. Look at the coverage and the look. Looks absolutely amazing. All of this is covered up. All of this is covered up. Mud, water, rain, dirt, sand. If you're going to the beach, it's all covered up. Let's get the other ones in. All right, we're coming in here. Boom. The last fit comes with two snaps, but the Bronco actually only has one here. I think I may be able to buy these and get them put in. I'm gonna have to do that with the back because that's the favorite part. That's my, my favorite part that I like about the last fit. Uh, that it comes with these in the back as well. So when I'm driving with no doors on and the wind's really blowing, the back seat ones won't flap. All right, so this is what I was uh, referring to. It actually has the, the button right here. Boom, that just pops in. The old ones don't have that. So it's just flapping when the wind goes or someone steps on it and moves on it, it can slide easily. Um, it actually has two, one, two, and one, and two. But the dilemma is, come on in. The Bronco, if you look at the floor, it does not have the button to snap it into. I'm gonna go, go online and, and try to see if I could put the button in there. And let me bring it back to the front just to make sure y'all understand what I'm saying. This is the button I'm referring to right here. Boom, listen, you can hear the pop. There it is. So I'm gonna get an extra one for here because it's not one over here. It's just one on the uh, front rear seat and there's none in the back. So I'm gonna get them put in definitely before I take these doors off again. Let's place this right on in. Slide it right on in. Easy peasy, my favorite word. Should get that put on a shirt. Boom, we'll slide it up. This video is probably about five minutes, if that. And I have already built up a great lather. I don't know where you are in the world, but South Florida has been tremendously high. It's been scorchers, like 97, but feels like 110. 
and then it'll start raining really hard. Shout out to the airplanes that's always flying through in my videos. Then it'll start raining really hard for 10, 15, 20 minutes and the sun will come back out. But there it is, snugged in. Look at, look at the look. Look at the look of these mats. I'm gonna set up a side by side now so you can actually see the difference uh, between the two. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to having these. I hope they hold up. I think they will uh, just with the, the strong color and they look clean. The hose down should be easy. That's the best part about having rubber mats. Like some th people might, may think, oh, I don't go off road or I don't do this. I put rubber mats in my Range Rover. I put rubber, rubber mats in my Bronco. This is the way to go. Mud, rain, dirt, sand. You take these things out, hose them down just like new. You do not have to worry about staining no car, staining the carpet up or staining your, your vehicle up. These are the go-to mats for my Ford Bronco. Let's put the one in, in the rear. Last but definitely not least, let's do it. Boom. Slide that in there just like that. Looks good. Ooh, look at the texture on that thing, man. Look at it. Love to see it. it kind of makes me want to just hop on in here. Just hop on in here and have a phenomenal time. <laughs> Excuse my goofiness. This is like how I am all time. All right, that's what we're gonna wrap this video up. Special thanks to the people at Last Fit again. Don't forget to click the first link in the description. Use my affiliate link. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. They have a bunch of stuff on their site. I'm looking next to get some rock lights, so be on the lookout for that video as well. The best mats in the game. I'll keep you posted and updated on the durability, but the fit and the look right now, I love it. Appreciate y'all watching another video. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one.